Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Today has been good. Um, I've actually had a, a really fun day. I did a solo stream, which I never do. Um, played Pokemon Unite for a few hours. It was a really good time. Um, this evening, uh, we finished up dinner. We're doing a little bit more work before bed. And uh, I told Mal that I was going to have a hot chocolate. And she said, oh, would you make me a hot chocolate? And I said, yeah. And then it occurred to me that it's been a while since we talked about this little debate. Milk versus water in hot chocolate. We've never actually done a direct taste comparison. Um, I, I had brought this up in the past and Mao held very firm to the idea that if you're gonna make hot chocolate, you should make it with milk. Water should be a last resort. I held firm to the fact that it was close enough that it didn't matter. That if you had milk, sure, but it was about the same. A lot of you have weighed in on this over the years as well. A lot of people felt very strongly with Mao that no, it's completely different. Um, the, the cream nature of, of milk gives it a, a smooth, velvety texture, and it's you know just a completely different ball game. So here's the deal. Because we both want hot chocolate tonight, I'm gonna do a test. I have filled up these mugs, one with milk, one with water, same amounts. I'm gonna heat them for the same amount of time and put the same amount of hot chocolate in them. And then I'm going to let Mal taste them. And we're gonna find out if she can tell the difference. And more importantly, we're both gonna discuss how great that difference is. I'm really curious if it's a huge difference, maybe she's right, or maybe it's not that big of a difference. And if you don't wanna use up milk because you wanna use milk for something else, maybe using water is fine. I don't know why I didn't just angled the camera higher so I could have just stood up. I don't know, that was dumb. For those who are interested, the very specific hot chocolate I'll be using is uh, Silly Cow Farms. This is from Vermont. This was sent in by uh, one of our viewers, Mark. Um, really good hot chocolate. Like, seriously good hot chocolate. This is a chocolate truffle. It comes in several different, um, several, several different uh, flavors. I mean, they're, it's all chocolate, right? But you know. And each of these are going to get two, uh, two spoonfuls. If I had given this any thought beforehand, I would have used just the one spoon, but I didn't. So now it's two spoons. And I'm doing, I'm doing my best to keep these, you know, as even and equal as possible. Because I'm curious myself. This isn't, this isn't necessarily about being right. This is about finding out. And I'm hoping to find out. So my first thought is, wow, there's a huge color difference, which, you know, makes sense now that I think about it. I think I'm going to have to ask Mal to try these with her eyes closed. That's probably the best, that's probably the best idea. You probably heard me talking. I figured we would do this test. Uh -huh. Okay, keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you try. Okay, well, you, you're fine, you know where we live. Um, I'm gonna have you try these hot chocolates. Uh -huh. One has been made with milk. Mm -hmm. One has been made with water. Uh huh. What temperature are they? Uh, they're the same temperature. I mean, I I did one before the other one. They're both very hot. You actually may need to wait a second. Okay. I used a laser thermometer to try and make sure that the. Thank you. I got it. You got the. I got it. Okay. To make sure that the temperatures were pretty close. Mm -hmm. So give that a sip. It feels hot in the cup. It, I mean, it's hot. It's hot chocolate. I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay. I might have to sample that one again. Here, this okay. is the left coaster. Okay, you just keep your eyes closed. Okay. I'll bring you the other option. That one's water. That one's definitely water. Yeah, that one's water. So you think the that 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 one's water? Mm -hmm. Do you want? Do you need to taste the other one? I'm going to. Yeah, that's definitely milk. So, to you. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, maybe I should do it first. I'll do the test. Mm -hmm. I'll do the test, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. You put one in front of me, whichever one you want, and then I will taste it with no. 
preconceived notion or Sorry, I'm or making bias. sure the handle is accessible. Give me your hand. This is my hand. There's the handle. Okay, this is the one I'm trying first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this <What>? is... <laughs> okay. Okay. There is a part of this test, which is... Um... Okay. I, I, mm, I already know which one this is. Wow. Wow. Man. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, 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 again, I, I know exactly which one that is. <laughs> I'll try the other one, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm prepared to be like, you know, it's gonna be very. Wow. Okay. So this is milk. Yeah. And it's obvious. It's very it's obvious. It's extremely obvious. So here's the deal. Um, I have actually been drinking a fair bit of hot chocolate lately. You saw how much of the, that hot chocolate mix was gone. I'm the one predominantly drinking that. I don't know why. I've been having a, a kick in the summer and I've been drinking hot chocolate. And even though I made such a, such a ruckus years ago about using water. water, and for the most part I have, Lately, with that hot chocolate, I've been using milk. And the reason I've been using milk is we've been buying the gallon milks from Costco. Mm -hmm. Gallon, gallon and a half, whatever it is. It's a big milk. And I'm like, well, if we got this milk to get through, it's cheaper to get at Costco, I'll use that for the hot chocolate. So I haven't actually had hot chocolate with water in a while. So I've been having this hot chocolate. I know exactly what it tastes like in the first taste on my, on my lips. Was not what you were used to. Was not at all what I was expecting. Man. See, here's the thing. Growing up, we often made hot chocolate with water. That's usually what we did. I'm not saying that we never did it with milk, but I don't have any, like, dominant memories about that. I don't know if it was just that it was cheaper. I suspect that probably had to do something with it. You can buy the Swiss Miss packets, put it in water. That's hot chocolate. But I gotta tell you, I this is like a complete night and day difference. It's not even anywhere close. Does Swiss Miss and this brand, I guess, have powdered milk in it? Uh, I don't know. Do you think that makes a difference? Maybe. Oh, maybe, okay. So maybe there's something there? Yeah. That could make a difference. And if, if it, so if this doesn't, mm -hmm. And Swiss Miss does, it might be a little bit more comparable. Yes. This, however, is, I don't want to say this is gross. It's not gross, but like it it's chocolate water. It is chocolate water. I could tell right away. Yeah, it, it's chocolate water. I don't feel like Swiss Miss tastes like this. So maybe that is a thing. I considered maybe it's, when I gave you the second one, giving you that one again. I would have lost my mind. I think I would have been able to tell. Man, yeah. So I've been drinking hot chocolate lately with milk. And I mean, I guess the next step of this test would be to to test Swiss Miss or one of the ones that has powdered milk. Does it? I don't know if it does. I don't know if it does either. But any of those brands that would, it probably would be a little more comparable. Mm. I don't feel like drinking hot chocolate when I was growing up tasted like this. But also I've been a little spoiled by having this i mean this is this is good is it my drink temperature now yeah now you know which one i brewed first this one no really no mm. the uh the water because it came out of the tap mm -hmm. and not the milk which came out of the uh, fridge true. even though they were heated around the mm -hmm. same time it's because it's the ground is hot here our water is not always ice cold out of the tap yeah and i you know i did the laser thermometer and they were within like 10 degrees mm -hmm. probably um but yeah it it it's completely different anyway i mostly rescind most i mostly rescind everything that i've said about how it didn't matter because it clearly does matter 
The reason I say mostly and not fully is that I would really like to test traditional Swiss tra Miss. traditional hot chocolate packets, anything that has powdered milk in it, because I'm really curious how that would differ using milk and water. But for the most part, yes. And with this specific hot chocolate, yeah, I would never make this with, with water. It's not great. Glad we did this test. I don't know if I'm, I honestly don't know if I won't even finish that cup. It's not, it's not super great. It's not super great. Anyway, there you go. There's, there, there it is. It took us a long time to actually legitimately test this because I don't think we ever did. I think we just talked about it and argued about it. You sure we didn't do it in the last house? I don't think so. Hmm. I think I was just like, no, it's like the same thing. But this is a def pretty definitive answer of like, no, it's not. Maybe at some point I'll get some of the other stuff and, and test that. And that'll make me feel less bad about my childhood. But this requires milk. It is completely different. It doesn't taste the same at all. So there you go. I don't know who I'm convincing because like 95% of people were already like, yeah, Mal's right. What kind of crazy person? And I'm like, no, no, no. It's like the same thing. And it's not. Um, I was wrong. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? So, um... You're going to make one with milk. Well, I was going to say, which one's yours? This one's mine. That, with the milk? Yeah, with the milk. Maybe we That's could, how I wanted it to begin we with. We could split them? No. We'll mix them up? No.